point when I was then at the stage where I was now married, had children, and was probably was at a point where I would have destroyed my family and destroyed my house and my marriage, and was probably would really end up in the, in the gutter all over again. Then Christ came into our lives, and He saved me. And when He turned me upside down that day, when He came into my life, and when I was going forward that evening after this guy was through the course, I could sit in the back of the church so that I can get out of there quickly after the service. I mean, right close to the door, so when this guy said, Amen, I can be out while he's praying the final prayer. And, and that night, God starts speaking to me. And at the end, he made an altar call and he asked the people who want to receive Christ as the Lord and Savior to come forward. And before I knew it, I was coming down the aisle. And all the way through it, I came to my conscious mind and I said, what in the world are you doing? Are you crazy? You know, get back, man, go out. And I couldn't. It was like something that just pushed me and pushed me and pushed me. And by the time I came to the front, I completely broke down. I think I cried more, more in that one moment than I've cried in all my life put together. And I just broke down before God and I said, Lord, what a mess. What a mess is my life. This, is, this, is, this could be for you a very clear day. A day where your name would stay the same, but your life would be changed for eternity. Anybody else? I don't want to stretch it out, but I don't want anybody to miss. I know it's a battle. It's not easy to do what these guys have done. But you know, Jesus did this for us in public. He picked up the cross and took it in public. They were spitting on him, they were mocking him, but he went all the way. He took it all for us. And he wants to take it for you as well. If you would allow it.